Do you like welding, Bub? Bub, I asked you. Really? Did you hear that? I heard that. <laughs> she might not be going to a friend's house. <laughs> Why would he say that about you? Because he thinks he knows everything, and when I try to show him that he don't, he gets aggravated. Because Dad has a hard head. Were you like that at that age? Absolutely not. Cody, what? I want some truth here. Were you that like is that? Truth. I was a sponge. I tried to absorb him much, as much knowledge oh, as yeah. I could. Yeah. I was a sponge. <laughs> guys welcome to today's video i'm driving down my driveway so i'm not on the road anyways i am the errand girl this morning we stayed in bed till eight o'clock because we don't have any like we don't have to go anywhere today it was nice cody made biscuits and gravy and now the boys went outside to work in the knife shop and i'm doing the errands so i'm gonna go to town and i gotta go to the feed store and get some medicine for a sick lamb and I've got to go to the cleaners or the laundromat and uh, clean out some of our big silver machines because Cody didn't clean them out and they'll get too full and you won't be able to put quarters in. So I'm going to go do that. And then I'm going to stop by HEB and get some stuff to make a big roast supper for tomorrow night because Kylie's going to come over and we're going to have a big supper. So anyways, that's what's going on today. So y'all stay tuned and hopefully we'll have some fun in this video. All right, what are you guys doing now? We are going to this little ewe lamb that we doctored the other day. He's got the scours. So we're going to doctor her for the scours. So what scours is, if you're not familiar, is like diarrhea. Um, I'm going to give her a little, little diarrhea medicine here. And we're also going to give her some... Uh, no, we don't need that. Some paste there that will get the microbes in her stomach going again. Need two cc's. Just stick it down in the top and draw it up. That's wool, that's good. Perfect. That's good, you got a little air bubble in there. So We're gonna give her this. Twice a day for a few days. You want some more? See if we can get her. No, thank you. It's cherry flavored. It's See if we can get her get her feeling better. We're only going to give her the these microbes here. This this oral paste here. Just just today we may give her some in a week or so too. See if this will get her. Yeah. Do you think this would be bad if I licked it? Yeah, I wouldn't lick it. But. Okay. I can Straddler. There you go. Make sure you get it all the way to the back of her throat for you. Did she swallow it? I think she swallowed it. I didn't see her spit it up. Uh, that counts as anything. I'd give her. It says to give, feed 15 grams on the back of the tongue, repeat as necessary, and this net weight is 15 grams, so I'd give her about half of that, because that's for a calf. So, so what? Yeah, about that much of it. Yeah, be careful, you don't slip in that. Ugh. That's nasty, bub. and get it all the way back down in there and hold her mouth shut make sure she takes it down after you give it to her. Right there probably? Yep. There you go. Good job. Whew. This stuff here stinks. Don't smell that. Why would you put it back to the back to your nose if you knew? Don't! You don't smell it? No! Stop! Naked goats over here. Oh, what are you 
How are you naked goats doing? All right, what's next on the agenda? So, we're fixing to hook up the welding trailer. We've got a few things that we didn't get finished up in the steer pen that we're gonna weld up today, since we don't have to worry about the steers being in the way. So that's what we're gonna work on today. Clancy's gonna get to learn to do a little welding with the stick welder instead of the wire feed. Now I'm gonna run the cutting torch and cut some I stuff. Weld stick I told them they were gonna get to see some knife shop stuff, but y'all already done in there, huh? Well, we're not done, but we're to a point, a stopping point. We gotta, we can go in there in a minute and kind of show them what we did today, so. Okay. All right, let's get this welder hooked up. You know why this is sitting here, Mom? Why? Because I ran into a fence. Cut the brakes. What? Did you cut the brakes? No, I cut the power switch. Oh, the kill switch. You cut the, switch. yeah. about my little welding trailer guys I don't know if any of y'all are familiar with these uh, I'll turn the buggy off so this is a little military army trailer um, it was made to be picked up and dropped out of helicopters and things like that or airplanes but there's no jack on it per se because the way it's balanced you can pick you can hook it up and unhook it without having to have a jack on it so um, I've got my welder balance in there just right so that it doesn't not too far forward, not too far back. So it's a pretty neat little trailer. We bought this right after Eric and I got married, I think, or right before we got married. And it was a feed trailer originally. That's what we used it for. We'd fill it full oh, yeah. feed and go feed out of it. And then when I got to having my feed hoppers up on my pickups and stuff like that, I, I converted it to my welding trailer. So let's see if the welder will crank before we get too excited today. Today we worked on grab some take them off, take them over there and show you show them your knives that you got ground finished grinding up today. Let me turn your light on here. So these knives are to the point of what, Bob? Of putting on handles and sharpening them. Yeah. So he's got all the final grinding done on them. Um, they're basically finished as far as they're grinding and they're buffing and polishing. The handles we're going to put on are right here. We've got four, so we can get one whole knife out of this, this handle right here. So, um, so there's two, two different knife handles right here. One's gonna have this orange and paper micarta handle. The other one's gonna be black and this, this tan paper micarta. And the other two are gonna have, one will be blue with a white background or another one will be blue with a red background. So, cool. um, so we got four knives there that'll be ready to go. We got the grinding done on them. He got the polishing done. 
Um, everything's done on them except for the final to do the sharpening. Um, and we'll do that once we put the handles on because we'll do some sanding on the handles. Then we'll have to buff and polish the handles to get them where we want them there. And then we'll do a, do the final sharpening after that. So like probably I would say, what do you think? Maybe two or three hours to finish everything. To be done? Yeah. Yeah. It'd be about, about three hours worth to finish those four knives. So that's where we're at right now on the knife shop. Now we're going to gather up our materials that we need to go and work in the in the steer pen on the welding. Bob's going to get his welding hood, my welding hood, um, his gloves, my gloves. I'm going to get some chalk and uh, to do some marking, make sure I got a good tape measure, and we'll head out from there. Where's my gloves at? They're, I think they're up in the top. You gotta go the other way, Ram. Go that way. Go that way. Is that heavy? Not too heavy, it just don't want to roll good with them rocks. I need to put this in the trailer. How come you took it out? Because I needed it in the shop for something one time. That's why I don't roll good right there, Dad. Stick in weed. front of it. I know, I like it when we do this. Like we, here, yeah, we got everything out here now. And we're like, do we got any, or do we even got any, we got any whatever you're, settling. yeah. Oxygen and saline. <sighs> Mom, did you know that the, the green hose goes to the oxygen and the red one goes to the acetylene? Really? How did you know that? What are you going to be cutting? Do what? What are you going to be cutting? We're going to cut those pipes off at the end right there and move them over where they're going to the... Oh, those. Okay. What are we looking for now? Tape, Tape measure. measure. Speed square. Chalk. So, I'm going to put this on here like such. Probably not the best way to do this, but this is the way we're going to do it today. Are you going to explain things today? As you go along and stuff? I'm gonna try. Do you wanna be mic'd up or not? No. That ain't no good. So what I'm trying to do here is you know, I wanna just do it like this right here. I'm gonna mark where I want this cut off and then I'm gonna take my cutting torch and I'm gonna cut it. And then we're gonna shove it in here, whoop it in here with a hammer, get it good and tight, and I'm gonna show Clarence how to weld it up. I know how to weld with a stick welder. So you're the cutter, he's the welder? I'm the cutter, he's the welder. Yeah, because he won't let me cut because he's scared that I'm gonna be better than him.
Don't mind me either, babe. Sparks on me. Very ungrateful. <laughs> I didn't say it. gate to hang level so that means it's got to come up like that okay so we're going to hook in the top of that post and pull to the bottom of that post over there and it'll pull the top of that post that direction yep. Hook this around. I pull it. Huh? I think I can. I don't think so. Think Hook this can. around the bottom of that chain, that post, you can hold it. and then you can. Slack out. Right, get on your, start cranking your jack. Crank that up. Start cranking your handle. Hey. Or you could do calf raises right here. So, so what? we have some stuff that might need to be finished up. Yeah, like that stuff's just tacked. Or look like it. It looks like it. You're going to make this a longer day for me. You're welcome. Can you get any more pull out of it? Not me. You could. Level? Not where I want it though. Not where I want it.
All right, so y'all are done over here. Got it better than it was. Not completely finished, but pretty close, huh? Yeah, we just got to put some stuff around that water trough, but it's going to take a lot of and fitting, so we're going to move over and hang a gate that needs to be hung and call it a day. Bub's going to leave to go to a friend's house, so we're going to do that real quick before he leaves. We're going to be kidless tonight. Fun. You were kidless last night too. Oh yeah. yeah. Sorta. Of. Get the ones down there by the down at the other end too. Do you like welding, Bub? Bub, I asked I you. Like it. I'm Dad's pain in the rear. Really? Did you hear that? I heard that. <laughs> she might not be going to his friend's house. <laughs> Why would he say that about you? Because he thinks he knows everything, and when I try to show him that he don't, he gets aggravated. Because Dad has a hard head. Were you like that at that age? Absolutely not. Cody, what? I want some truth here. Were you that like is that? True. I was a sponge. I tried to absorb as much as much knowledge oh, yeah. as I could. Oh yeah, yeah. I was a sponge. All right, guys, they're hanging a gate now. Open. This gate has been sitting here for. A while, and we just move it every time we need to open it. So it'll be nice to be hung. Yeah. Pretty sure these goats are freezing cold. They look like they're shaking in there. They're free. Mm -hmm. You're free. <laughs> you freed the goats. Freedom. Yeah, they can get out. Hey, get off that dang post over there. Yeah, Dad. Quit moving. Post don't even move with you. You know what? I am so tired of being around y'all. <laughs> I feel like you've had a lot of fun. I feel like you've had a lot of fun with us today. Just a swinging, swinging. Everybody hold what they got. Do not move. Or you might be yelled at. Dad is not having it today.
do you feel? 